Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today I'm doing another tier ranking video. I love doing these. I've done several of them before. I've done like completed TV shows. I've done all the books I've read this year so far. I've done thrillers I read last year. You know, you get it. I love a good tier ranking video any day. I thought would be a fun idea would be tier ranking all of the holiday books I've read so far. Because I've read like 40, you know, over the few years I've been reading a lot of holiday books. So I thought I would try to rank them. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. So as you can see right here, I have my tier ranking list. I have five different categories categories and I have labeled them all kind of with um, quotes I like from Christmas movies so you know we're gonna do it so the very top my favorites of the favorites is I'm in love and I don't care who knows it I'm in love I'm in love and I don't care who knows it if you know that that's from Elf my favorite holiday movie of all time I have it's beautiful Clark of course from Christmas Vacation when Clark finally gets his lights right of course the wife does it you get it you get it But these are like pretty good ones, ones that I really enjoyed that weren't maybe top tier holiday reads for me, but still ones that I really did like. Yeah, I know him, again from Elf. Do I, I could quote all these from Elf, honestly, I really could, but. Santa here? I know him. I know him. That So this is just a good, solid, middle of the road, just average, I guess you could say. It's like I liked it, but I didn't love it. I didn't really like really, really like it, or I really didn't love it. You know, when you say, I like something, but I don't like like it, that's this category. So three stars are not bad for me. I think that just falls right smack dab in the middle. Then we have, when I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan. This is from the Santa Claus, if you know. Maybe it's an obscure quote, but I think of it a lot. Um, it's the part when, you know, he's heading home from the first night after Christmas Eve, and he's like, when I, you know, after all this, he's like, when I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan because he thinks he's having some memory problems. <laughs> when I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan. It's just, these, this means that I have no recollection of this holiday romance. This means I have no recollection of this holiday book whatsoever. What's it about? I have no freaking clue. That's what this category is. And then I have my favorite probably holiday quote of all time is from Home Alone, Buzz, your girlfriend, Wolf. Buzz, your girlfriend, Wolf. <laughs> it's mean, it's low kiddish, but I'm not kidding you when I say I love this quote when I was a teenager, one of my many aim if you're old like me, you get it, AOL Instant Messenger. Screen names was Wolf, It's Heather. <laughs> so those are just really bad ones. So I have all of them in here, and I think these are, I don't know if they're just, I don't know. So we're just going to go for it. So actually my latest one, and I will say I am filming this at the very beginning of December, so by the time I edit this and this video goes up, I may have finished a couple more, and if so, I will put those in at the end so you can see exactly where I put them, so just so you're aware of that. So first up, we have actually my, as I'm filming this, book that I finished recently, like as in today as of filming, is Snowed In by Katherine Walsh. This is the sequel to her book, oh gosh, it's up here somewhere, Holiday Romance. I really enjoyed it. I would say for holiday romances, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. It was about Andrew's brother Christian and they fake, he meets Megan who he's known for forever. She was a runaway bride and they fake date and it's super Christmassy, super cute, set in Ireland. I loved it. Then we have another recent read I actually read this year is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. Buzz Your Girlfriend Wolf. This book first of all, was not Christmassy in the slightest. The cover misleads you, the back misleads you. It's basically about two characters that, it's basically about two people that have rock star mothers that had a rock band and they broke up before they were born and basically they're trying to get them to reunite and you know they fall in love like that and it, it's just, it's, it's not good. Like I love Tessa Bailey. So saying that something, so I did not like it. Moving on. Next up, we have A Festive Feud by Marin Moore. I would put this in Santa, I Know Him. This is a Christmas novella. It's under 200 pages. It's steamy. It's sweet. It's not going to leave me with a lot of lasting memories, but I did really enjoy it. Then we have a YA one. What is this called? Let It Snow, maybe? This is by John Green, Lauren Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I'm going to put this in when I wake up. I'm getting a cat scan. I remember really liking this. When I say I read this, I probably read this like 10 something years ago, maybe nine. I don't know. So I have no memories of it whatsoever. All I remember about it 
It's that three, it's three short stories, each by that author, apparently so, each by an author, and it all kind of ties in together. And I know there was a Netflix adaptation that I haven't watched, so we're leaving it in that category. Then I have Dash and Lily's Book of Adventures. I'm gonna put this in as Beautiful Clark. Actually, no. Is that the first one? I'm gonna put this in, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. It is a classic YA one. I really do enjoy this one. It's, I know again, this was adapt. I know again, this was adapted. I did not watch it because adaptations have just um, burned me. So I just <laughs> stay away from them. <laughs> but the book is amazing. The second book, no point. So yeah. Then I have the 12 Dares of Krista. I, this is this a middle grade? I think it's a middle grade. I had no memory. I could not tell you what this is about whatsoever. Why I read it, I don't know. I don't remember literally anything about it other than I'm guessing her name was Krista and I think it was middle grade. Then I have Dash Into the Snow by Debbie McComer. I read this a few years ago. <laughs> I don't remember it. Don't remember it. It was probably very Hallmarky. Debbie McComer's known for that. It was probably just the generic of all generics. I mean, it was probably good at the time, but I just don't remember it, so that's why it's going in there. The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan. I remember do liking this. I'll put Santa, I know him. This is more of a heartfelt about sisters kind of reuniting that have had a rough past, obviously around Christmas. If you like Christmas romances, this isn't for you, but if you just want heartfelt and kind of warm and cozy, I would recommend it. Then I have One Day in December by Josie Silver. One, um... I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. I like this book. I love it. A lot of people don't like it and I get it, but I personally love it. So we're just gonna move on. Oh my gosh, I remember this book. Seven Days of Us. I don't know who it's by, but it's going right in Buzz Your Girlfriend Wolf. This book was not good. <laughs> I, I think I tried, I think I read it a couple years ago. It's about like a family that got stuck inside and they were all just horrible. And I can't do that. Like, if it's a book with no redeeming characters whatsoever, like, I do not care. I don't care. And this is that. No. Um, the Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I am putting this, and I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. My favorite YA holiday book of all time. It's a reimagining of A Christmas Carol where the girl that, you know, they visit does not decide to change her life, and she dies. <laughs> So that she wakes up and she's the new ghost of Christmas past. And it's just a funny, heartwarming, great reimagining of Christmas Carol. My favorite YA um, holiday book. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, I'm going to put It's Beautiful Clark. It was pretty good. It's a Groundhog Day where a character just has to repeat the day over and over again until she figures out what truly makes her happy. And I, I do really like, I don't love the time kind of books where it's like, time travel and stuff like that but this one was done really fun it was a fun one it could be made into a movie I think would it would be decent window shopping by Tessa Bailey I will put it's in be it's beautiful Clark this is her novella that came out last year so if I would recommend you a Tessa Bailey holiday novel I would recommend you window shopping over wreck the halls window shopping is a little Christmas me not a hundred percent it's very steamy if you like Ted Lasso I'd read it just I mean just don't read this one <laughs> <laughs> then we have A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. I'm going to put this in. I'm in, actually, no, I'm going to put it in. It's Beautiful Clark. Um, another really great indie one I read um, a couple years ago. It's about a care. It's about a girl that has feelings for her brother's best friend and they have to cross, they have to do a road trip together home from California to like Wyoming or something. It's very Christmassy, very cute. I really enjoyed it. We met in December by who? Who is this by? Rosie Curtis. I don't know. I have no rec. Oh, I do remember this. This is about two characters that, like, they just randomly became roommates with these other two characters, and they had feelings for each other, but then, like, the next day, he was already with another roommate, and that was, like, it. And I was like, what? It was just very odd. And so they've had each other, they've had feelings for each other for years, and now they're going to admit it or something like that. I don't know. It was okay. I'm gonna, I guess I'll put it in Santa I Know Him. No, I'm gonna put it in. I don't really remember that much about it. My new crush gave to me. <sighs> Couldn't tell you anything about this book. I, I literally do not remember reading this, which I don't say a lot, but I don't. Then I have The Twelve Dates of Christmas. Again, I remember vaguely it's about this character that goes on literally 12 dates, 
nothing really happens. It's not that great, so it's not rememberable. I'll say that. The Deal of a Lifetime by Frederick Bachman is, it's in Beautiful Clark. It pains me to not put it, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it because I love Frederick Bachman. This is his holiday novella that is very sad. Like, good lord, it's sad. Um, it's not the best, but it is heartwarming, sad. It's just a lot of things, but it's not ultimately my favorite, sadly. Oh, Jingle Wars. This is another Kindle Unlimited book I read. I would put this in Santa I Know Him. It's about two characters that kind of fight. One's like an out-of-towner trying to come in the small town to like do a resort. The other one is a townie, obviously, I guess you could say, and they fight. Steam happens. It was cute. It was, you know, it was okay. Oh, so this is Christmas by... Tracy Algie. This one was pretty good. I'll put this in Santa. I know him. This is a YA one I read a few years ago. Um, it's like, I think it's about, this one in particular, is about a town called Christmas. And we have two characters that are at boarding school. They loathe each other. Things happen. It was a cute YA one. I would recommend it if you like YA. Snow and Love by, I did not like this one. It This had three short stories in it. They were okay. It wasn't very memorable, nor that great. I'm just gonna say that. The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. Again, another YA one I've read that I did enjoy. Again, set in like a very, a town that's very Christmas heavy. It was cute. I would, if you see any YA ones up here that are in the Santa I Know Him or above, I would recommend. Ooh, Wrapped Up in You by Talia Hibbert. It's beautiful, Clark. This is a holiday novella that is super steamy. Next up, I have Book for Christmas by Lily Menon. Again, I would put in Santa, I know him. It's another holiday novella. These two characters that hate each other get trapped in the snow together. You could put two and two together. It was cute. Nick and Noelle's, oh my gosh, I did not enjoy this by Cody Hall. I couldn't tell you what it's about. It's about two friends that like, they're, no, just, mm-mm, mm-mm. My True Love Gave to Me. Oh, this is a YA one I read many years ago. Like, I think this was like probably the first holiday book I really read. This was comprised by a whole bunch of authors and short stories. There's some in there that's great, like Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Roll. I forget who else, but it's a really good one. I do like this one over the summer one that they did. Office Party. I have no recollection of this. I know it was a novella. I think it was about an office party. <laughs> Wow, how did I get that together? I don't know. It just came to me. Mm -hmm. Christmas Shopaholic, Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Ginsella. I'm gonna put. It's like I know I like it, but it wasn't that great. I'm gonna put it when I wake up and get a cat scan because I don't remember much about it. We read the Confessions of a Shopaholic series. I've read a few of it in there. They're kind of all the same. This one's like the same but just had Christmas. It was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about. 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston is a YA one I've read and did like. It is literally what the title is. It's a super cute YA one. I would recommend it. The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lee. Oh, I love this one. I'm going right up here to, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. It is a holiday novella where they work in a bookstore. Two characters hate each other. She's like the epitome of holiday spirit and he's like Jack Frost and steam happens that melts and it's just really, really cute. I liked it. Then we have What Light by Jay Asher. Buzz Your Girlfriend Wolf. I don't remember anything about this. No. I'm gonna put this in Buzzer Girl. I'm gonna put it when I wait and get a cat skin because I don't remember. I think it was set at a Christmas tree farm. That's all I know. Then I have Missile. What is this? Faking in the Mistletoe by. Who's this by? Ashley Shepard. I do remember reading this. I think this is about fake dating. And I do. I remember liking it. So I'll put it in Santa. I know him. It was steamy. I think it was like her boss and like fake date. It's interesting. Then I have The Grump Who Stole Christmas by S. Doyle. I don't remember much about this one. I do remember liking it some, I'm still gonna leave it there because I don't remember anything really about that. So, I don't know. A Holly Jolly Diwali by Sonia Lali. I'm gonna put that in Santa, I know him. This is obviously about Diwali and it was super cute. It taught me a lot about Diwali so I really appreciated it for that. Oh my gosh, the worst, what is that called? The worst wonderful time. It, this was the worst freaking holiday book. <laughs> Buzz Your Girlfriend Wolf. This was the first holiday novella I read that I was like, why? Why? Romance. That's the sequel to this one, so we're gonna put it right next to that one. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. If she wants to get you if she wants to continue on with this series, I'm freaking ready. I will read a book from her every Christmas and be freaking happy about it. So 
I loved it. Do I love, which one do I love more? I don't know. They're both equally great in their own right. Ooh, Love Light Farms, putting that right up there too. Another indie book that was recently picked up by a publisher with good reason. This is set on a Christmas tree farm. It's like Stars Hollow. It's like best friends that love each other, that fake date. Super freaking cute. I really like this series a lot. Just Like Magic by Sarah Hoggle is really cute. It is like a character kind of awakens the Christmas holiday spirit named Hall and he is Buddy the Elf literally. <laughs> it's just really funny. This is a very suspend your disbelief a lot, suspend your belief book a lot, but it was cute and it was funny and I liked it. Tis the Season for Revenge. Oh, I read this one last year. It was really cute. <laughs> it was very steamy. Like it's all about a girl that decides to get back this is all about a girl that decides to get back at her ex-boyfriend by um, getting together with his boss. And <laughs> things go interestingly. <laughs> and then I have the mistletoe, what's this, the matchmaker's miss? I have no clue. I have no recollection of this book. It looks like it's a cowboy and a girl. And that's all I know. So there you go. Mary Ink Miss by Tali Hibbert. I'm going to put this in Santa. I know him. Um, I definitely didn't like it as much as her Wrapped Up in You. This one's a full length novel. But I liked her Wrapped Up in You a little bit more. So there you have my completed tier list. I thought I would read more than this. But I think it looks like I've got Santa. I know him. And when I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan. It's tied. But I would have to say that I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. These are like my ultimate favorite holiday books. If you want some great holiday romances and things like that, I would check these out because I loved and adored them. So yeah, I think this is all of them. I really hope so. Will, am I missing some? But you know what? I like reading them every year. I'll add on to this. I'll add on to this list. Maybe in a few years, I'll do this again and have like 15 more books. Who knows what the future holds? Who knows? But either way, I hope you enjoyed this tier ranking tag. If you have any other tier rankings you want to see me do, please let me know because I do really enjoy doing these a ton. So let me know your suggestions down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.